protests at the beginning was that people would see electric vehicles just as sort of cheap and very comfortable. Right. Well, but of course they're not. <laughs> it's a, exactly the same car. Yeah. 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 Same exactly feeling. Exactly the same. The yep. same high quality spec. Right. Uh, and the grid adaptation to EV uh, is a secondary compared to the grid adaptation to renewables in terms of uh, variable renewables. Mm -hmm. So as we are positioning ourselves for more intermittent renewable energy, I think naturally that bodes well for EV as well as part of the puzzle. transportation sector has spent around 46% of the total energy consumption in Cambodia in the transport sector. So we are committed, we are committed to also to participate in reducing the emission you know, by 2030 or 27%. So the EV can play a major role in contributing to reducing the emission. The variable renewable energy um, is able to be flexible uh, to take into account uh, fluctuations uh, in demand uh, and of course cost effective. It will have variable renewable energy if we increase the uptake here will have uh, a positive impact in terms of making the electricity system cheaper. There's a huge potential for EVs in Cambodia um, to be part of that uh, variable renewable energy uptake. Across the world, we are electrifying our fleet. Having an EV also prevents other noxious gas gases from, from being emitted. It prevents particulate matter. So EDC is confident that if people start to use electric vehicles, it will be good for themselves, but good for utility like us. And of course, it will be good for Cambodia and the world at large.